All right, in this example, we're going to learn about summation notation. So this is my big goofy looking E, which means summation notation. Um, I guess that's as good as I can draw it. All right, so some terminology here. So this, this right here we refer to as the index of summation. And this k equals 1, this is our lower limit. So think of it as the start place. And the 6 at the top, that's our upper limit. So think of that as our end place. So we want to write out the terms and evaluate it. So what we want to do is we want to find what this means when k equals 1, when k equals 2, 3, 4, 5, and finally 6. So when I've let k equal 1, then I've got 3 times 1 minus 1. So 3 times 1 is 3, minus 1 is 2. When k equals 2, we simply put 2 in for k. So that gives me 5. For k equals 3, we put 3 in for k. And that gives me 8. And when k equals 4, we put 4 in for k. And so I get 11. And when I put 5 in for k, then I get 14 equals 14. And the last one, I'm putting 6 in. And I get 17. So evaluate it means sum it. That's what this is, summation. So I'm going to sum up all of these terms from k equals 1 to k equals 6. So obviously you could just add these up. Okay? Or you could realize that this is uh, arithmet arithmetic um, series. So we could sum it up using the summation formula. So we have six terms, so n is 6. Our first term is 2. Our last term is 17. And we divide by 2. And of course, when you do that, you get 57. Those of you that have used Excel before, it's a program in Word, uh, might recall if you, you know, put some numbers in a column, and then you highlight the whole column, um, and sum it up. You might, next time you do that, you might notice to see if you get that summation sign when you do that. Well, that's what that's doing. It's summing up the whole column there. So there's just some basics of summation notation in this example.